social media has been abuzz with rumors of a snowstorm on the East Coast for days. This is not unusual. It seems like the internet is always conjuring up hypothetical thunderstorms or high-impact blizzards. And very few of them actually happen. Arrow right but this time there's actually a chance. And a good one. The chances of a devastating snowstorm are increasing this weekend across parts of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast, especially the interior and Appalachian Mountains. There may be an oscillation between rain and snow along Interstate 95 corridor, but the chances of snow increase as you move north into Mid-Atlantic. The abundance of wildcards makes it impossible to offer specific predictions this far out. Details become clear on Wednesday especially on Thursday, when it may be possible to make predictions about when the precipitation start and stop in certain places. Who see rain versus snow? How much it rain? Still, some of the nation's most populous cities could face snow or a mix of sleet. Sleet and rain. Here we outline a few possible scenarios. What we're monitoring. And what the impacts might be. Basic setup currently. A shortwave or high altitude pocket of cold air. Low pressure. And rotation exists south of the Aleutian Islands in the northeastern Pacific Ocean. This system will dip southeast over lower 48 in coming days. Bringing rain to southern plains and deep south on Friday. Then create a low pressure area near mid-Atlantic coast over weekend. This low pressure system will move northward. Parallel to the east coast to east. Well offshore. A tongue of warm. Moist air will wrap around the north end fuel storms over Gulf Stream. Some of this moisture will pinwheel westward and northwestward around low pressure center and fall. As snow on the cold side of storm. This will be at least 50 to 100 miles west of the storm's path. Exactly how close or far away from the coast the low pressure system tracks will have significant effects on snowfall. Low pressure tracking along coast or inland will pull enough warm air westward for more rain along the I-95 corridor. And heavy snow will be mostly confined to mountains. But if the low rails remain a little further offshore, enough cold air could be allowed to remain place for the first significant snowfall in several years Washington, Baltimore, Philadelphia and New York. Effects the worst of the storm will last from Saturday to Sunday. In the Piedmont of western North Carolina, work will begin before sunrise Saturday. It will then expand across mid-Atlantic from early morning through afternoon, reaching northeast by Saturday evening. Possible scenarios include a mix of mostly rain, mostly snow, or mixed precipitation. As the I-95 corridor from Washington to New York may well cross the rains now line. It is therefore impossible to predict specific snow totals this far in advance. Providence, R.I., Boston, and Portland, Maine, have better snow prospects compared to the I-95 cities to the south. 